Costa Rican voters headed to the polls again on Sunday in a runoff to decide the country's next president. Opposition candidate Luis Solis is expected to easily win, though since his only rival dropped out of the race because he'd fallen behind. CCTV's Nitsa Soledad Perez is in Costa Rica and has the latest. Luis Guillermo Solis, the Citizens Action Party frontrunner, faces an unexpected rival in this presidential runoff. Voter apathy. This was the scene on February 2nd, during the first electoral vote. This was the scene on this presidential runoff. At his assigned polling place, Solis was received by an avalanche of supporters and media, where CCTV caught up with him. Do you fear that voter abstention will affect your legitimacy? No, not at all. This electoral process has been carried out according to the Costa Rican law, according to our constitution. And uh, in democracy, you win with one vote. So no, the legitimacy issue is, is, is solved. What I want is a, a very clear message from the voters, a massive, clear, um, absolutely unquestionable uh, demand for me to change the country. The results of the first round gave Solis a preliminary victory, leading by a margin of less than one percentage point over Doni Arada of the governing National Liberation Party. But a month later, local polls showed Solis with such a strong lead that Araya decided not to spend any more money and abandoned the race. For Viviana Delgado, the voter abstention is a reaction to Araya's decision of not to run. People in the party are upset because of what the candidate did, and I believe the whole country is. It's just the way politics has played out this season. Here I see less people. During the first round, this was a party. It was pretty full out here, but definitely I see less people in this second round. Critics say that if people don't show up for him, it will not be easy to carry out his policies. If elected as expected, Luis Guillermo Solis will not hold a majority in Congress. His party only has 13 of the 57 seats of the National Assembly. During his campaign, he has promised to bring legislation that would empower small and medium-sized businesses in an effort to reduce poverty and stop the growing inequality in the Central American nation. Solis loses legitimacy because the National Liberation Party has the majority in Congress, and since he doesn't have enough partners in the Legislative Assembly to make his plans happen, he will have to negotiate with the multiple factions of the body. This election cycle has brought significant change in Costa Rican politics. Few would have predicted that Solis would become the first runner-up and that the previous favorite would not only lose the first round, but run away from the second. Also, Solis comes from a new political party in a country where power has been shared by two traditional parties, National Liberation and the Social Christian Unity Party. It appears a new era in politics is on the horizon for the country. Nitsa Soledad Pérez, CCTV, San José, Costa Rica.